Writing a personal statement can be pretty tough, especially when optometry is a small enough community that there's not just optometry personal statements out there that you can read. And so today, I'm gonna to break down three do's and three don'ts that will take your personal statement to the next level and hopefully get you into optometry school. What's up YouTube, it's Josh Reese making optometry easy. I'm rocking the new haircut, I'm trying out a middle part. You can tell me if it looks good or bad. Uh, I think I like it, so maybe spare my feelings if you think it looks bad. Nah, put it down there if you think it looks bad, that's fine. But basically, I'm just gonna walk you up the pyramid of a good personal statement for optometry school applications. So with the base, the first ones I'm gonna do will get you to have a good personal statement. If you submit it with just doing the first two things, you'll be okay. But hopefully if you watch until the end, the last ones will take your personal statement to the next level. So number one, the first do is please do answer the question. I mean, they give you a question that you answer and sometimes a lot of people are just like, oh well I didn't interpret it that way or oh I forgot um, to answer the question but what I wrote is good. No, none of that, none of that please. Just answer the question. First of all, it's gonna be a red flag if you don't know how to just answer a straightforward question to you. Second of all, if they wanted to know the other little random things you might be writing about, they would have asked it. What they have in the question about your aptitudes and desire for optometry is there for a reason. That's the one thing that they can read about right now to know if they want to have you for an interview or not. So please answer the question and hopefully make them like you enough to invite you for the interview. But hopefully you do it with this don't, and that is don't have any spelling mistakes or any grammar mistakes. Now this is the biggest thing that they look for. If they read your personal statement and they answer the question and it doesn't have any glaring mistakes, you're good. Like, please, you'd be surprised how many personal statements people have asked me to read where they just don't scream for spelling or grammar. This is your future. Invest a little time to proofread it or put it through Grammarly or, I don't know, have someone have someone else look at it and make sure that there's no spelling mistakes and no grammar mistakes. I know it's hard if English is your second language, but this is important enough for you to use your resources to make sure that it's clean, no mistakes. All right, now that you have a good enough application so that people are going to accept you into optometry school, let's just blow their socks off with these next two. The do number two is add your personality into your personal statement. And so this is the only thing in your whole optometry application that they can see you as a person. They'll get to see you more in the interview, but you will never get to the interview if you can't show yourself a little bit in your personal statement. I'm not saying like filler things, like random things, I'm just saying write in a way that makes you seem like a human being. Don't try to be too academic, don't try to be too uh, casual either, just be yourself. And if yourself wants to be an optometrist, show that in the way that you write. Show that you're more than just your GPA in a way to school. Now don't number two I already alluded to, and that is get rid of any filler space. Now. Filler paragraphs for sure, but even filler sentences and filler words. If you can't look at something and think, I know why this is in here, this answers this part of the question, get rid of it. It's okay if your essay is short as long as it answers the question. Don't put random things in there that detract from what you're saying. And even if it doesn't detract from what you're saying, you want to use as much of the space in, that you're given in your essay answer the question if you can. And this is probably the most common thing that I give feedback on when reading people's personal statements is, come on, just why, I know you want to be an optometrist, but going into four or five sentences about your own eye condition, just facts about it, isn't going to help. You could have that in two to three words and have it bring the same impact and have them understand why you want to be an optometrist. And so, condense as much as you can and get rid of any filler information. You'll thank me later. All right, top tier, top tier. This is the stuff where you're just like, chef's kiss. Like, if you do these last two things, the chances of you not getting into an optometry school are pretty low, unless you watch the interview. Do number three is get it checked by at least three different people. 
And here are the three different people you want to check in. One is someone that knows optometry. So someone in the field who can read that and think, yeah, you'll be a good optometrist. You know, you got the skills, you got, yeah, I can see you as an optometrist. The second person is someone who knows grammar and spelling. I know, like, I told you to be good at grammar and spelling, but sometimes this is how you get there. Because I kind of suck at being a good speller and making sure things sound right grammatically. But give it to someone who knows their stuff. My sister was an English teacher, and so I gave it to her. Right? You might not have that, but I know you've had someone in your life who can speak English or write English a little bit better than you can. Give it to them. They'll be able to screen it, make sure everything makes sense and is written well. And then the last person you want to give it to is someone who knows you well. So someone you could say, I read it and yes, I can tell this is you writing. You know, your personality comes out, you're, you're good, right? Someone who like, would be like, yeah, like, you know, this represents you. This, is, this work that you put in really represents you. And so if you get it checked by a person who knows optometry, a person who knows English, and a person who knows you. And a side note, don't be shy in applying their feedback. Just, just apply as much of it as you can. I know there's some things where you're going to be like, no, I know it's better, but not all the things. Apply the majority of the feedback to those people. And don't, number three is don't include any red flags. Because this is a common one. And the worst part is sometimes people put things in there thinking, oh, my personality's coming to come out. But that side of you that you're showing isn't going to be the doctor side of you or the student side of you. So don't put any red flags in your essays that'll make them think, oh, well, we were going to invite them to an interview, but now that we saw this in the personal statement, I'm not sure. And this is included a lot more than you might think. Casually mentioning, you know, oh, I'm not a morning person. Or, oh, you know, I've got a lot of family responsibilities. Or, oh, my family and I travel all the time. Like little things that you think, oh, well, that's just, you know, fun, something about me, can be a red flag to them. Oh, they're not a morning person? Uh, are they dedicated? You know, it could put a little doubt in their mind. They got a lot of family responsibilities. Oh, what if a family emergency happened and they won't be able to give all of their time to school? So just be careful about what you include because some of those things might be misunderstood and actually go against you. So just paint yourself in a positive light and you got it. All right, your personal statement's gonna be great. I actually just started a Patreon where I'm coaching people and counseling people through their optometry application. So if you want me to look at your personal statement, you can go ahead and head over to my Patreon down in the description and I'll be happy to coach you through your application process. Don't forget to follow me on social media and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.